Introducing the new McDonald's Triple Big Mac. Triple the meat, triple the cheese, triple the tasty. The new McDonald's Triple Big Mac. Yummy. Delicious. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Cut. That's a wrap. Finally, this commercial is over. I hate shooting advertisements for fast food restaurants ever since that commercial I did with Burger King. Let's just say the king wanted me in more than just a commercial. Hello, my name is Master Chief. I just returned from my vacation to Miami. Me and a couple of hot ladies enjoyed getting jiggy with it in the clubs. Now on to today's lesson. I'm going to teach you how to run a successful restaurant. I have experience with restaurants. For example, I own a seafood restaurant in LA. You may have eaten there. It's called the Crack Smoking Lobster. The first step to running your own eatery is finding a nice place to build it. The best places are under highways or inside volcanoes. Hire some illegal aliens to build it. Once it is finished, you must decide what kind of food you will make. Some popular types are Italian, Chinese, or dead buffalo. Then, hire a staff. If you've ever seen the movie Ratatouille, you know that rats make great cooks. So it is wise to hire a few sickness-infested rats. Now, make your menu. A few popular dishes are road cold pigeon, living tiger, and killer spider. Now open the restaurant. Often, there will be many customers in the restaurant. You may need to lend a hand to your waiters, so strap on a white suit and some brass balls and help them. If your customer complains that their steak is overcooked, beat the shit out of them with it. Also, if you don't like a customer, make sure to take a shit in their food. You may begin to lose money. If a tax collector enters your restaurant and demands money, make sure to throw them in the oven and burn their ass. Over time, your kitchen could become dirty, so hire someone to eat the shit off the floor. Also, don't forget to have a portable toilet on the roof for customers to use. Having unique and fun activities for guests to participate in would really make your restaurant a hit. For example, you could make customers fight with man-eating lions while they wait for their main courses. Now you have a successful restaurant. Enjoy it for years to come. What's that? I've just been told that my restaurant, the Crack Smoking Lobster, has been closed by the state of California. It turns out that I accidentally poisoned some people with my buffalo ass special. Fuck this shit. If you can't handle a buffalo's ass, you don't belong in this country. God damn it. I'm leaving. Hold on, I'm a tax collector. I came to collect money. A tax collector? See you later, asshole.